Okay, um, we're back on the Magnavox and we're troubleshooting uh, along with Dave WM. Not physically, but anyway. Um, I'm going to go through a couple of steps that he suggested, so here we go. I've checked the... Um, oh, I'll put a still shot of the schematic so folks at home can see and follow along, or you could refer to the, the earlier videos. But um, I was instructed to check R54, the 3.3K ohm resistor. Um, I think that's on the G2, and um, it reads 3100 ohms. I'll do that now. I don't know if you can see the meter. But in circuit, it's 3.1K. It's a 3.3K ohm resistor in circuit. And I've checked a, a couple others, and, and they're fine. Um, the 220 ohm R53 reads 230. Now what I was told to do, I'm going to establish a baseline, so I'm going to turn the set back on and get the sound to have the, the amplifier hooked up here, so uh, we can at least uh, go back to where we started. Uh, I'm going to pull the tube and I'm going to watch the voltage on this cap here. This is the suspect cap and I have others ready and uh, I'll test some of these. This is a, they vary in age, this is a 20 at 450 that's pretty old, 20 at 450. This is a 30 at 450. This is a 20 at 450. This is from 1979. And this was in a box of parts too. This is a 40 at 450. Just says Japan. I don't see a date code. Seems a little newer by the size. And then what I don't understand, I just got these. These are brand new from Allied. 85 degree. A date code of 2011. 30 at 450. I don't know why they're so huge. And then I have one from a a flat panel television repair we bought some capacitors and these are a this is a 21 at 450. Both brand new capacitors. This is a 105 degree. This is only 85 degree. I don't know is it the surge? Why why is, why is one just this big and the other the same value? Basically it's a 30, this is a 21. We have the capacitor tester here, which we can test them with. But what suspect, what I like about the analogy here is uh, if you look at the circuit and uh, what Dave's gone ahead and done is describe what's what's going on here and why the tube is in. It's 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 not conducting or it's in saturation. The bias is wrong with that kind of voltage on on the cathode. It's 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 just way off. So. We're going to establish the baseline. I'm going to turn the set on. I've checked all my connections here. We should be good. Um, turn the set on. And we're going to just see if we're back to where we were not too long ago in the last video. Set my volume up. I think my amplifier is on. Okay. So we have sound. Oh, okay. Horizontal is coming in. And we have picture. Okay, now I'm just going to do a quick check of that voltage on that tube on the cathode, which is the junction of this capacitor right here. So, This capacitor is at 244 volts. Now that means that section C of the can, which is only a, a 200 volt cap, is, is running at... I can't get a good connection here. It's running at two, over 200 volts. Anyway, we're going to pull the tube. I've been instructed to pull the tube and see what that voltage is. Carefully, let's pull that out of there. Set the tube aside, and let's turn the set back on. I'm going to get a better ground connection while that's warming up. Okay. Tube is out. I'm going to check the cathode. 
and the voltage is still there. That's what Dave said. It's still going to be there. It should be zero with the tube out. Zero. So he's suspecting this capacitor right here. That's the analogy. I was going for the multi-section, but let's take this cap out and test it. I'm just going to unclip it. We have the cap checker, and we'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to turn you over to the capacitor tester here. I don't know if you can see that here. I'm on the tripod. Let's try and move you over there. Zoom in on the... I have no voltage on this, hardly any voltage on this capacitor, and the eye is already closed at like 10 volts. So this capacitor is correct. Definitely leaky. I have my leads attached. I go up. I go up. 10 volts, that eye closes on that. So that capacitor. C4. Now I jumped it out over here. Let me get my hand in the camera so I can see where I am here. I jump that out. Where are we? Right here. Okay. So anyway, that cap is, is no good. That cap is, is toast. So, let's get it out of there. Okay, I have the capacitor hooked up. We're going to test the good capacitor and that eye gradually opens. Okay. 150. Don't bore you with testing capacitors, but this is probably 1980. Capacitor is over 30 years old. Hmm, the eye is closing on this, um, this old capacitor. 20 at 450. It's opening but very slowly. This capacitor is um, not testing very well. It may be damaged from all the use. It's been used a lot of years for, for repairing TVs. It hasn't even been soldered in a circuit. Okay. We'll put that one aside. Let's test the the ancient ambassador here. This is from old 64 Goats uh, collection. Again, I've got to pay some homage to him. We'll connect this up. This is a 30 at 450. Very old. The date code could be 1986 because it says 861436. But I, I, again, I have no idea. So let's bring this up and see what we get. The eye opens. Opens. That's 100, 150. 200 my eye is closed on this one 200 volts his eye is closed on this one let's get him out of here I don't know if it's the tester or what's going on so let's go with this new flat panel oh let's go with the new flat panel one here a minute okay I clip him on here I don't know what this reminds me of this little Again, this is 21 at 450, so let's check the leakage on this one. Opens right up. 50 volts, opens up. 150, opens up. 225, opens right up. 300, opens right up. 350, opens right up. 400, that's about as high as I'll go. We get a little noise, but it opens up. It's opened up at 400. Close. I don't know how accurate the voltage is on this. This capacitor tests good. We have a new old, old stock. Okay, let's move this along so we can get the TV going. Let's go with our new Sprague. Paid a lot of money for this. I don't know why I paid so much for such a big capacitor. Okay, we're going to connect this up. This is a 30 at 450. 30 at 450. 100 volts, it opens. 200. It's opening. 250. Slowly opening. 
I'm going to go up to 350 and 400 like the other one. 400. Opening very slowly, but it is opening. I must say, it doesn't open fully. I'm at the same level as I was with the little um, capacitor. It is opening. Maybe that's just some noise. That's 400. It's open, not fully, but it doesn't test quite as well as the little the little thing there. So you tell me, is it advances in chemistry, or what, what's the deal here with this? Is this one going to last longer, but has more of a leakage factor, because it's bigger, and this one has none, but won't last? Which one should we put in there? Well, anyway, let's just get one in there and uh, take it from there. I'll probably put the new, the new sprig in there. The space is not a concern. It'll fit nicely where the old one was, so... Let's get that. Let's come back over here. Solder this in and uh, give it a whirl. Our positive is down, so I'm just going to connect the um, little newfangled one in here and give it a whirl. And we'll power the set on. And the tube is still out. We're just going to check the voltage on the cathode after taking this capacitor here out of the circuit. Our amplifier should still be on. It is. Here's our picture. Oh, we have, yeah. Hmm. Funny, I don't get anything. I have no tuning. Okay, I don't know where I lost you folks at that uh, last interruption. I did um, power the setup of the tube out, and I noticed I had no 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 programming, no sound, no IF, no nothing. So that falls in line with what was said about the capacitor being out, the voltage was zero, and with the tube out, the voltage is still zero. So there was no IF, there was no video, and there was no sound. So now I've put the tube back in, we still have the capacitor attached, and we're going to power it up. I do have the headphone amplifier still on. I will, um, I'll kill that when I, well, let's kill it now. We'll turn off our, uh, external amplifier, bring the speaker over here which is attached and here comes the sound out of the speaker I still don't hear any okay Let's check our voltage there. That's with this capacitor now. Cathode? 133 volts. So there you have it. Thanks for watching, and thanks, Dave WM, for being right on with that one.